Hello. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Like, no, no, not on. Not on. <laughs> okay. Hello. Welcome to Your Scare Mother's Love, the show made by me for you. That's right. That's how it works. Um, we're playing some D and D. How is everyone? We've been talking about cats and dogs and stuff, so actually we're pretty good, I think. In general. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Hanging in there. I'm alive. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not, not bad. Neil's near Honestly, it's just the cats getting me through at this point. I mean, I That's think what all, every right? person has several parts in their lives like that. My cat is outside this door, just like, flopped. Just belly fur. And it, it breaks my heart. Not to be giving her pets right now, but we right now sacrifice is on. We got work to do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, I don't have my cat yet. Exactly. It's like only a week or two until you get your kitten, right? Yeah, a couple of weeks. So you should be on the Discord down below if you want to see pictures of Neil's kitten. It's gonna be I am sending many pictures. It's gonna be coming. As cat. a cat expert, I can say that it is a ten out of ten cat. Wow. 10 out of 10. Wow! Uh, though it's not I a 12 out of 10, like we, 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 no, no, we, we rate, rate dogs. dogs. I got it out. Oh, that was cute. You said it in unison. <laughs> <laughs> he needed a little help. Dogs. I love how we started this off with a lovely, cute stream, and now we're going to. And Vale's eaten by a frog. Yes! <laughs> to <laughs> recap the last week, you've actually made it to the island of Beauty's Rest, where. Uh, Vail got eaten by a frog. We're, let's not get ahead of ourselves now. Where Vail got eaten by a frog. But he got eaten by a frog after you've uh, explored the island a little bit, found out that, yes, Gilwyn's mother was here, and there's actually very, very detailed magical paintings of her. And there's a temple in which a item called Soul Mender uh, that his mother wielded to cure people and help in battles that they needed to have. Uh, to defend the island, uh, has been sealed away the, by a statue. The two arms of the statue basically work like keys. One has been taken by the frogs on the north side of the island, and one has been taken by dwarves on the south side of the island. I thought Tip the dwarves were north. Am I wrong? See, no, that's... I have to do it in my brain every time, because naturally you'd assume that dwarves are north, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess I I've either just decided that one. Yeah, exactly, right? It's a weird one, but it is. But no, the, the swamp side of the island is to the north, and that's where you, you head off first. After some... Last session was very typical d d If you didn't see it, you should. It it was just... It was just d d shenanigans, which we appreciate. But this session begins as uh, you try to sneak into the Bullywog camp. Actually, you didn't sneak into the Bullywog camp. You walked in. You can't speak their language, but Gilwyn cast his little comprehend languages so he can understand them. And they didn't immediately attack you. While Vale snuck around, stole the arm that was on a plinth. And then uh, that pissed off a giant frog monster that swallowed Vale and then went back into the hole. And that's literally where we start off this week with Vale being dragged into the hole in the mouth of the frog hemoth with... Every single player giving me an initiative oh. roll. That's right. It's one of those sessions where we start out with initiative. We're going in, right, We're going in hard. Right We're wrong off. to start. Oh, We're wrong to start with the cups. You've gone too team. early, haven't you? Hey. No, no, no. No, okay, we're legit. Okay, but I will... Oh, that natty 20 from Doxy, though. Yeah. You all, all that All that good luck used up for the stream. <laughs> <laughs> For initiative. <laughs> so uh, you say so. Scott does an interesting home. I, I like. <laughs> oh, I don't do yeah, that. For twenties, I I know you don't do that, Ollie. I played a lot of D and D with you. <laughs> it's it's okay. Um, where you you either gain or lose an action depending on if you have rolled a twenty or a one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you don't feel like they're wasted. So yeah, that, that's the yeah, thing. Yeah. Otherwise, it just feels like. Complete I mean, waste. it's not wasted because you got a really good initiative roll. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's still yeah, worse than two other players. <laughs> yeah. Well, spoiler alert, Indira has negative decks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you guys actually charge into action very, very quickly when Vale gets swallowed. So, basically, for to, to truly recap the scene, 
you guys, uh, Gilwin, Indira, and Knight were talking to the Bullywog Chief. Well, the Bullywog Chief was talking at them. Uh, your, tra your idea was, let's try and trade fish. We have salted fish, because we've been sailing here and Indira fishes in her free time. So let's try and trade that. While you're having this conversation, you see Vale running away from this giant frog monster that just whips out a tongue that kind of splits in four and grabs him. Pulls it into uh, his mouth, pulls Veil vale whole into the giant frog monster's mouth, and then waddles away, burps, and just goes back into this giant pit in the middle of the village. With that, you and uh, Knight said that you wanted to just immediately jump into the hole. Is that still correct? That oh, is yeah. still correct, yes. In which case, give me an acrobatics roll, Gilwin. Oh, and I'll no. start collecting my fall damage dice. <laughs> that only Gil, or...? Uh, well, there's an initiative order. Okay, no, 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 uh, no that, I wasn't... Okay. <laughs> 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 we'll get to you. But you, you will be doing one in, like, two seconds. Okay. I love that response to Sass. No, he doesn't need to. He's got climbing speed. Yeah, that's, no, that's why I see, was that's asking. that's true. Yes. I've got climbing speed. I'm a cat. I was genuinely wondering. If you if you were going to climb down, not jump down, then yes. If you want yeah. to jump down and then try and uh, grab onto the side, you're still going to take damage because you're going to freaking tear your claws out. But uh, that's up to you because you, it's you know, a pity now that you know I didn't get first in that initiative roll then. Um, um, so you could have um, got down first and no, him. no, because I've got Featherfall. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, is it reaction? Uh, yeah, Featherfall's a reaction. Yeah, you could you could Featherfall reaction. now if you want. Because it's uh, when you jump yeah, in the hole yeah. and you realize yeah, well, yeah, this we, is we deeper than hole, you thought. Simultaneously, and I Featherfall. That's very good. You know what? Good idea. <laughs> Let me just show you Featherfall for a second there. So, in which case, this turn happens a little differently. When you f jump down that uh, pit in the middle of the village, you feel... Uh, I don't. Have we ever had Featherfall happen before? I don't even remember. But you feel a little bit of weightlessness and you drift quite safely to the bottom of this tunnel. It's pure darkness down here, aside from the light that trickles down from above, which means you can see a circle around you, almost like this was a well or something, and then a large hole that goes further, like a cavern, more or less the size of the giant creature that you, 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 you are chasing, which is around 12, 14 feet tall, somewhere around there. Hard to tell, it's a big lumpy fuck. Right? Uh, so that's what you see. You actually land gracefully. I was going to make you take fall damage and uh, land prone, but no, you gently touch the ground at the bottom here <laughs> and can take your turn. Um, okay. Uh, I'll. Uh, so there's, it's complete darkness. I can't see anything. You right? can't see where. So it's very clear that the, the veil and the frog went this way, and you can actually hear them because I imagine veil is yelling. <laughs> And you could hear it muffled inside the creature, and you could also hear the <laughs> booming and yet wet footsteps. Oh, you could also smell the thing. It smells... I mean, you've been in this swamp for quite a few hours, and the swamp in general smells bad. It's a hot tropical swamp. This is just almost a more condensed version yeah. of all you've been smelling for the last few hours uh, ahead of you in this tunnel. But you're being a dirty human, you can't see further into it. Um, I think I'd be very conflicted about waiting for uh, Knight mm -hmm. to come with me. But I think because it's Veil vale inside that stomach, it, I think I'd just run ahead. Well, I mean, you've got to bear in mind this is basically hot, um, happening simultaneously. Knight would be landing almost. Oh, up. right. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, exactly. I would be. I would be charging through then. Charge forward. Great. Yeah. Awesome. Knight. You can do more or less the same, so you cast Featherfall, you also land very gracefully beside... Uh, yeah, probably I'm... more gracefully than Gilwin, because Gil has is like falling <laughs> yeah. and then gets parachuted, and then yeah. probably his Knight, legs Knight just lands wiggle. on his feet. He, he didn't have his eyes open, he just had a card between his fingers and was um, was murmuring, and then just opens his eyes. But how? So, um, I do have dark vision. Do you? Can I see? Oh yeah, you do, you're a cat. I'm a cat. <laughs> Can I see anything more definitely? You can see the frog hemoth's backside lumbering mm. through this tunnel around 60 feet away. Um, around 60 you can see its away. four to tentacle arms. It's kind of pulling itself along much more than it's using its legs, you know? Okay. The tunnel itself, the... it has yeah. a couple of inches of water at the bottom of it as well. Okay. 
So I pull out um, the Zanyu family rapier and I'm going to use feline agility to double my speed mm. turn and charge up to it. 60 feet I should get there. And you I'm do, going yes. to stab it in the ass. Stab it in the ass. I, I, I was going to try and like, if, if I could see it in the front, <laughs> I was going to try and cut bail out of the stomach, but up for now I'll just stab it in the ass. You could stab him, you could cut him out of the ass. Yeah, I, I mean, it's try. all connected, right? Yeah. Uh, that's a hit. Also, the rapier is causing enough of a glow of light around Gil that you can very clearly see where Knight is and the frog humus is against him. Just okay. Know. It's a dim glow damage. of light. 12 damage. Yeah, we, we, that's pretty good. You, you uh, go up and slice into the back of this thing, and you just hear a. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, it's slowly starting to like lumber to turn. I didn't know you were there. Um, I do care. I have anything I can bonus action? Um, bonus action. Bonus action. I Cheeseburger. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah like that's all. <clears throat> Never watched the sequel. Is that your turn? Have you yeah, decided it is the end? Uh, okay. Next up is Indira. So Indira, when everyone else jumped down that hole, mm -hmm. you stayed with the bullywogs at top. Um, what's your uh, plan? You know when the, this whole chaos happened. You know, I would, I would, um, I would run to the hole. I would cool. run to the hole, and on the way, I would rage. And when I got there, I would jump down with a plunging attack with my axe. You like, won't because it's. A pit? Too far? Well, you just there's a diagonal with rock in the way. It's like a curvy. It's a down. It's a straight ah, down okay. pit. Okay. Okay. I was thinking that it was like a cylindrical hole. In it the is, earth. but then the frog humor has gone down a separate tunnel at the base. Okay. But you That's can jump cool. and rage, and that would reduce your fall damage. Yeah, uh, definitely gonna do that. If if they if. Uh, Indira was within 60 feet of when Knight triggered that, it would have obviously affected Yeah, I could Yes, have that's true. So yeah. Well. So you and would also have Favor Fall on you. So you pretty much run, couldn't start your rage, and uh, fall in there mm -hmm. for your, your, your turn. Not take any damage because of the Favor Fall, land at the bottom of the pit. And then how fast your movement speed? It's just straight up normal, right? Oh, no, are you faster because of Arbor I'm 40. So if you spend your your whole turn running, you you get there, but you don't get to get an attack because you started further away because you didn't immediately run and jump at the end of last session. Is that gonna fuck up my rage? That's gonna fuck up my rage. Not if you go. Not if you don't get attacked <laughs> in the uh, next turn, and you're right next to a giant frog monster. So we'll see. Okay. Next up is the frog emoth. Oh. But first, it's the frog Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. No, I'm reading rules that I already read in advance, but I forgot because I'm, I'm very smart. You're a human, Ollie. That's the issue. Uh, yes, <gasps> that's the problem, right? He's but one day we'll there. get past that. Veil, vale. <laughs> inside the, the stomach of the frog hemoth. Feeling yourself dissolving, uh, you take 15 acid damage. Oh my 15? god. 15? Mm hmm. Then. There goes a finger. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> then, considering the frog human lumbers around quite slowly, it's a big thing. It's also perfectly sort of aligned to the tunnel itself, so it has to kind of like around using the tentacles to pull and shift. The four tentacles just kind of two each lash at Knight and Indira. So first I'll attack Knight because it's easier. Hey Knight, what's your AC? Um, 18. You have scale mail. Yeah, no, I've got I've got um studded leather and shield. Plus. Oh, that's right. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Completely thought of a different thing you were gonna do with this character. Um, yeah, with 18 it. It doesn't hit you. Some of the things the the two uh, tentacles launch out towards you, suckers on the end, like <laughs> going at you. You can just dash and dive out of the way. Now, Dira, what's your AC? Fifteen. You do get hit. 
course I do. Yeah, but you raged. So it's fine. You do get wrapped up in the tentacles. It's one of the things where actually night kind of dodges behind you when they all go and start sucking to you. You Thanks, are going Nate. to take... <laughs> Get another dice here. Now, that was not a d8. You nearly got some bonus damage, but you know, for free. Don't start rolling d20s. <laughs> yeah, I've done that once with a d12. Me like, wait a minute, a d12 <laughs> can't do 18 damage. Hang on. Hang on, that's not right. <laughs> I did that once with Nuri's extra damage dice instead of d10s. I rolled d20s, and I was like, ho ho. <laughs> uh, you take 17 bludgeoning damage, uh, Indira, which is halved. But you are grappled by the tentacles. Now, it will immediately actually make a bite attack against Knight. You know, it kind of grabs up in Deerer and then tries to basically chase after uh, Knight instead. <laughs> um... Indira, you get wrapped up in the creature's tentacles and you're like, ah, oh, this, you yeah. know. What a day, right? First harpies, now this. It's actually two days, don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> but you see Knight, like, dodge, duck, and roll, and maybe be like, ha, now I've I've dodged it. What possibly? Hole. <laughs> just hole. Just leaving behind a very fancy shoe in its way. <laughs> now, Knight, you are going to take a bunch of damage. Oh, dear. <laughs> This is uh, terrifying. Yeah. I'm terrified. This is wipe territory. You're going to take 17 piercing damage and you are That's swallowed. like nearly half my health. <laughs> Fucking hell. Vale, you... So, Vale's perspective is very dark. Is very stinky. But you can move. It's one of the things we have to kind of push against its cloying insides and whatever else it's eaten recently which is a very large fish so the fish bones are poking up against your back but you can completely move in here and being an elf you can actually see in here as well you actually see night kind of get slid down <laughs> the esophagus into the stomach with you god damn yeah <laughs> night night is just like upside down just looks at you and says well rather unpleasant place we're in now isn't it <laughs> Rather, Vale's going to reach into his pack, and uh, it just so happens he carries half a kilogram of salt. <laughs> Whoosh! Entire bag into stomach contents. Really? That's very interesting. I like that. I'm actually going to make him make a constitution save. Now, luckily, a big creature like this is very constitution -y. So you pour the entire contents of salt into the stomach acid and you immediately feel the insides of the creature reject that. You know, that's just too, too much for a creature, like, just freaking dumped like this. You feel it wretch and the stomach try to push you out, but it almost holds itself back. You know, now <laughs> to Indira and, uh, to just Indira, because Gil, you can't see the creature anymore because the sword is now inside the stomach. Sorry. Um, Indira, you see the creature just sort of like, it's got three eyes on top of its head and they like push down as frogs do to try and keep itself swallowing. It's clearly in distress from what it's trying to eat, which considering the amount of weapons on them is not a surprise. Uh, if you, uh, Considering that was kind of like an action, it's pretty much your turn. I respect. Unless you've got anything you want to do on a bonus action. So I can move, mm. but I'm, I'm restrained by the confines of its insides. Exactly. Yeah? Basically, whatever you, you know, roleplay leeway, you know? Like, okay. pulling stuff uh, out of your bag to dump, I thought was pretty good. Uh, 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 yeah. Um, I guess I shall desperately hope uh, and drink a potion. <laughs> Yeah, what's, what's trying your hardest to make sure you don't accidentally drink any of the stomach contents at the same time. False life. I've got potion of false life. Uh, how much does false life give me? Oh, level one false life. 1d4 plus yeah, four. Rubbish. 
It's something. It's also temp HP, which is pretty good. I, I've got I've got a healing potion now. Uh, so that will be two D four plus two. Mm -hmm. It helps. Uh, all right. So you basically you try to hold on. Frogs outside aren't a problem anymore because you're inside. Gilwyn, you see Knight and Indira run up. The creature just thrash and attack, and some scratches done against it. But Knight immediately getting swallowed by the beast. <laughs> um, I probably, I probably would just. So I, I'm not right there. You're it's like still sixty ahead of me. feet away. Yeah. I'm. I'm what? Sorry. Sixty feet away. Uh, I guess I will just bend my dash and get there as fast as possible. Cool. Alrighty. That's that then. Night. Have you ever the heard the tale of three in a behemoth? <laughs> <laughs> now. Okay. What? <laughs> this is. <laughs> you know, it's a good turn when it starts with that. Yeah. It's just like. Uh, shatter the spell it's yes. the description is that it's a loud noise i've always imagined it as sort of like yeah a, a, a that sort of vibration thing i it, i also totally allow that it's because it's full of it, it's now already got an upset stomach from the salt i'm just worried are you going to rule that i'm going to hit myself and veil if i cast shatter it oh you absolutely are going to hit yourself yeah. and veil if you're trying to shatter and it because you can only cast it where you can see at and least one of us you can only <laughs> see inside it yeah so um, oh. unless you were to try and open its mouth to cast shatter outside of it in its face hmm. which would be a very Advanced I like that. move, but then that might even fail and like you know waste a bonus action or something, you know. Um. Okay. Here's the question: Is why did Vale have a, just a whole bag of salt in his bag? That boy is prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I got ten foot string, one thousand ball bearings. Four I know you have the ball bearings. Kittens. Uh, I've got oil in here. I've got. Mm, Yep, yeah, oil. Right, what, are you, what are you thinking, mate? Caltrops. Um, I mean, this is fairly thick skin anyway, so just stabbing into it is not likely to. But do you're that. inside. Yeah, we thick yeah, hide but... on the outside, squishy mm. organs on the inside. Okay. Um, I believe being the stranger at disadvantage on attacks, but still. Yeah. Um. I'm firstly, I'm no, I'm okay. Yeah, you have to let's, let's be yeah. stupid about this. Um, <laughs> I'm for, I'm going to start off by um, he like struggles to get a card out, chucks it generally in Vale's <laughs> direction, and is going to cast a third level um, healing word um, on Vale, and yeah. is then just going to say, I would advise you cover your ears and then is just going to cast um, Shatter and try and get them both ejected from this I love thing. the idea of you like just holding a card out and just like, yeah. pinning your ears down. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely cast Shatter, my friend. Oh my god. Sorry, the turn order's a little messed up. You know what? Considering the salt move, uh, you guys make your um, constitution saves. Well, at least it's not going to kill me in one hit. That wasn't enough damage to do that. <laughs> Considering the salt move, it has disadvantage. Um, it absolutely takes the damage. And the frog hemoth wretches. The... <laughs> to you guys outside. And now you're getting close enough, uh, uh, Gil, where you can't really see it, but you can feel the presence of the huge creature. You know, you fought in the dark enough. Um, yeah. You can see the belly shake from inside, and you can hear the muffled ring of him casting Shatter on the inside, and then these two yelling as they're being shook, uh, shook up as well. And then just a... And those two are spewed, coated in stomach acids and slime, just sliding onto the floor in front of you two. Yeah, and as soon as, as, soon as night is out, he's sort of... He staggers to his feet, but he's clearly, oh, 
Yes, you are prone, so then you use half your movement to get up. Yeah. <laughs> the funny thing is, too, because you slide, you end up behind Indira and Gil. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's good. I want. I want yeah, to it's actually <laughs> really useful. So is it actually if 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 we've slid behind them, does that mean we're no longer in range and I can move away, or looking at the range of this creature's tentacles, it, you're taken. probably still within range of its combat, but you are behind those two. Okay, no, that's fine. Then I will st I will just stand up like, act like almost like he's drunk, just like oh. <laughs> sensitive cat ears. Shattered yes, exactly. Not <laughs> not good. Indira. You're right up next to the creature and just spewed out your friends. Mouth hanging open. I am going to You are wrapped up in the creature's tentacles. <laughs> uh, Doxy just never gets to do anything fun. It's really the rule of the game. Oh, which Doxie. means if but, you, you but Doxie either... But still raged. You're still so raged. Advantage. You have advantage to try and break out, or you could just try and swing at the thing regardless. I took... Damage, so I wasn't raged anymore. No, when rage damage, stays you, when you take yeah, damage. Keep, That's the yeah. point. Rage is rage stay. Rage is charged by taking damage. If you don't take anything, that's when you drop out. You need like something to keep you sustained yeah. in that that feral. Oh, anger. I miss. Okay, I miss. Rage, rage isn't like a spell. Yeah. Okay. It's constant. You're still. You're basically raging until you don't take damage. Okay. So you um, are still raging, which means you could either try to break out with advantage, or you could just attack at the thing with disadvantage because you're grappled by it. Because, you know, you're, like, lifted up off the air. If I were to reckless attack... It would counteract. Yeah. counteract gives the, me damage. Or not damage, advantage. advantage. It counteracts, so the disadvantage and advantage counteract. Okay. I'm going to reckless attack. Go ahead. All right. Get him. Yeah, I, I would love to. Give me one second. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hit. Very much. Oh, Doxy, you need to turn oh, on dice. So much damage. Uh, I will do that after this turn. Yes, I'm exactly. so sorry that I, I hadn't. I just realized, yeah. Um, and then I get a second attack, you so do? I'm going to do that. Oh, Neil. Neil, no! <laughs> that is not gonna... Okay. Yeah, I, I decided to commit... Uh, Twitch channel suicide and just strip. Or it's like... not your channel, bitch. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, so that's your turn. So I don't think you can do anything on the bonus action. I was very careful. Can you click reveal. your elemental bonus over. thing real quick, Doxy? Your elemental yeah. rage thing. So I don't remember if that applies when you start raging or like every turn you are raging. Why? Why do? You, why do you do this? Not you. You're the best. I do this because I'm a dungeon master and you wanted to be in my games. <laughs> oh my that's activated. You can activate this effect each of your turns as a bonus action. So Ooh, you can use wait. your bonus action to make it take a dexterity save. You can shoot someone a lightning bolt. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. I imagine you do that. Yeah, it basically when Indira's raging, we haven't really described it so much because I haven't been so much combat, but especially in such a dark area, you notice her skin is crackling with electricity. Uh, uh, obsidian skin is just arcing with little sparks of light. And considering the creature is grappling you, it really can't get away from that. So roll an extra d6 lightning damage. It's like when someone grabs Pikachu. It's like when someone grabs Pikachu. Except for Pikachu has great axe. Don't think that's in Detective Pikachu. <laughs> Do I get advantage on this? It's not. It's a, they make a save. Okay. So this isn't an attack. This is just happening. Got it. They can try and dodge it though. All right. And then uh, it's Vay. Sorry, you have so. It goes from nineteen to eleven. I was like, are we missing someone? No, it's just a just a big big issue. So Vale, you got spat out. You're coated in in what is hopefully just harmless slime. And you just slide under Gilwyn, uh, about ten feet away from the, the huge creature. On your uh, on your belly. Yeah, he's gonna gently stand up. Ugh, fuck this. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, so that used half my movement, so I yes. have fifteen feet. But left you're now. like ten feet away from it, so you can just 
Okay. Get in uh, beside Gil if you want. You won't be able to get behind it this turn. Yeah, can I... Unless you dashed. Or used your rogue action. Can I vault him? Ooh, that will be hard because he's pretty much nearly as tall as the Ooh, Okay, I'll dash then. I'll use my rogue. Yeah, exactly. You can use your rogue action to dash under its legs or around it or something like that. Uh, okay, so I will dash, get around behind, and then Ooh. stab him in the bum. And you have advantage. Because Gilwyn is standing there like, oh. Hey. Oh, yes. This boy yes. roll. This boy rolls. Yes, crits. daddy. <laughs> That's a hit, um, weirdly enough. This is why. Uh, this is what Ollie wanted to hear. He got another double nat 20 on a roll on Yeah, I did. It's just... Uh... Vale <laughs> managed to get behind the creature and just slash it up. 29 damage. Yeah. Didn't really... I rolled pretty badly as well on that. I rolled... Don't two. say I... that. <laughs> <laughs> you could just start cutting away at the tough hide at the back of the creature, exposing muscles and tendons and various important bits a creature usually wants if it wants to live and Ooh. i now have because i did cunning action to dash how much would that have used to get around behind it uh so it's a huge creature so if you didn't use your movement action it would have been 40 feet if i didn't no so if you used so okay blah, blah, blah. You used your movement action to get up to it and then you dashed around it it would have been 15 feet of your dash Okay, so yeah, so I have 15 feet left. Uh, in that case, I will back up the 15 feet away from it, which I can do without because taking, because I've got... Uh, I also just realized I with two frog creatures, I did the wrong way around in the initiative, so I'll just take frog Emus turn now. Two, two lots of frogs, and the other lot of frogs isn't even in combat, so I'm deleting them. Um, so interestingly enough, with Indira's lightning sort of crackling away at it, the creature's eyes seem a little glazed over from that. It's shaking its head, it's roaring. It seems to very much not like the, the shocks. Um, it will... just try its hardest to eat Indira. It has advantage because you are correct for same and it's grappling. Wow. <laughs> End goals. Uh, uh, so it does get you, Indira. <laughs> With you wrapped up in its tentacles, it's just... And you're just, like, flashing at it. Uh, it just kind of shoves you into its mouth, tentacles and all. Dealing... Uh, is... Oh! 25 piercing damage, which is half oh because you're raging. God... So glad we have a tank now. And you are <laughs> and you are swallowed by the frog hemoth, just no! sucked down its gullet. Great Jokes action all. Is it twelve or thirteen? It always round down, so twelve. Okay. Jokes on it. <laughs> it ate the one thing that's electric. <laughs> Didn't say it was smart. Speaking of night, it's your turn. <sighs> Wait. No, I deleted sure Gil's it's turn. Gil. It's Gil's turn. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of not being smart, it's Gilwyn. <laughs> not the dungeon master who can't do it basic with numbers. everybody. <laughs> okay. Um, I will. Hmm. Is there a way I can? Oh, no, because it's pretty much against the ceiling, isn't it? Pretty much. But it's also a big squishy frog, so if you wanted to try and climb up on it, you absolutely can. I was going to try and cast Shatter above it, but... You could. So how big is uh, Shatter's area of effect? I think it's 10 cube. So it's a 10, 10 cube. It's a 15 feet high creature. If you go, like, everyone get to ground and cast it as high as you can. Sphere. How much? A 10 foot radius sphere. Yeah, so you basically could throw it at the ceiling and only hit it. And Indira, but Indira's inside, so actually has total cover from the damage. I'll I will do that then, I think. Uh, I actually will cast it. Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, exactly. It's a very important thing saying in chat is that Vale does have a 1920 crit weapon, which is crazy. Cast it at level also 3. Lots of monies. 
So that's Cast at level three shatter. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. baby. Constitution save. How much is this? 68, is it? Ooh. 48. It oh, okay. has a huge constitution bonus and it fails. Yeah. Yahoo. <laughs> 18. What type of damage is that? Thunder damage? Awesome. So there's one of those things where it's very much preparing to be attacked from the front or behind. When you cause this shatter damage above it, not only does it um, ring out, and it's already felt that inside, this is rock above it that starts to crumble and some parts start to fall off and fall in sharp chunks, some that pierce in. One of its three eyes is like knocked by a huge chunk of rock that just, it never comes back out again from its kind of hidey hole inside its head. That incredibly hurts it. <laughs> Do you, do you make the like level up noise from the witcher? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> now it's I've got reminded of confidence. that noise. I want to hear it again. That used to be my text alert for a little oh, while. No. Um. Anything else you want to do, Gil? Um. Yes. Bonus action. I will. Can Indira hear me? Uh, good question. Yes. <laughs> I will scream to Indira and inspire her. Watch out for the acid. As if that's gonna help. But yes. And give you a uh, inspiration. Yes. I'm inspired. I'm inspired. You're going to need it. Some people being inside the belly of a giant frog monster is inspiring. <laughs> Night. Um, so how hurt is this thing looking? It's definitely not feel looking as strong as uh, when you first saw it, but it isn't bloodied yet, which is half HP. You know, it's okay. it's battered and bruised. You can definitely hurt it, but it, a creature this size and girth, you know, is just a... And takes a for lot. clarity, I'm imagining, based on the description of where I was running up, I'm probably about 10 foot away from it, yeah? Yeah, you're 10 foot away. In that case, I am going to, um, he pulls out a card and, um, I mean, I haven't properly thought out, put thought out how, for how I do this, so I'm coming out with this on the fly. And, um, whisper, and whispers, um, uh, my lady, may my presence be, uh, my presence is needed elsewhere and throws the card in front of it. <laughs> and invokes duplicity. Ooh. So another knight appears closer to it. So hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> that's knight. Because the card basically like go touch the floor and then just sort of like swirls and goes It's like a it's like knight. an illusion, like yeah. a, a hologram thing, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and awesome. that is an action. Um I am also going to cast um oh should I <laughs> now I'm gonna cast healing word on myself as a second level. You are very... Kitty not looking too hot. Yeah. <laughs> Kitty looking Kitty's hot. still not looking too hot. <laughs> I suppose for a d4 that's... Kitty not... might actually survive a hit though, possibly. <laughs> awesome. Next up is Indira. Inside the belly of the beast. Um... Would I be able to like slash at the stomach lining? You because... have disadvantage, but you could reckless attack to even it out again. Do I have like any kind of disadvantage or anything? You have disadvantage, yeah. My internet cut out for a second there. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. You have disadvantage, but you could do the same thing you just did and reckless yep, attack again. Yep, that's happening. Yeah. And it just—that's <laughs> a hit. Did cool. You apply the extra plus two Whoa. damage you get. Oh my god, that's so sad. That is so sad. No. Cool. Oh. All right, and then we're gonna go again. You gotta go again. You, you got. You can't get a lot of like distance. You gotta go. There we go. There we go. That's much more like it. Much better. Much better. I'm supposed to do so much damage. You do deal so much damage. Today. <laughs> Uh, and you know what also number. happens? R1D6 too? Yep, yeah. it, it does a deck save, which it. Oh, will... sorry. Well, you might as well roll it anyway, because. Okay. It's uh, 
taken anyway. It takes half damage even if it uh, passes. So um, I mean, it, can't it pass should definitely have disadvantage. You're, it, because you're inside it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so <laughs> you guys outside, you see the frog Hema's stomach be like <laughs> from uh, Indira fighting inside it, and the frog Hema shakes its head and spews forth again. Indira, like moments after being sucked in is spewed out and again slides uh, onto the rocky ground with everyone else. It's beautiful. Yay. Next is Third Indira with tentacles. Now Indira's been slimed. It's just... <laughs> I, I've been saying this for years. There's a lot of tentacles in D&D and I ain't even trying. I ain't even trying and this happens. <laughs> now eat me. Eat me, eat me. <laughs> I th I'm beginning to. Has it learned its lesson yet? <laughs> I don't. I don't want to hear about your boar fetish anymore. All right. Oh no! You're innocent. All right. Consume me. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Sorry, that completely destroyed my brain. Man. That, that, that destroyed me. So the frog hemoth, after having the lightning from inside it, again, it's staggered. It's It really seems to suffer from that. Like, it actually spews off smoke from its mouth. And it's not about to breathe fire. Its insides are burning. Uh, and not like it just has some spicy Indian food. It'll turn around and kind of flail. But the tentacles never really hit hard enough to deal any damage to anyone. But it will try to chomp down on... Veil! Cutting words. Is it is it in range? Oh, you dashed away, didn't you? <gasps> uh, you might still want to cut words. Okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, uh, to, uh, it, it, whiz, it will chomp down. It only can. So yeah, it will be against you. So uh, you might want to cut words then. <laughs> yeah. Gil? Uh... Oh, don't attack Vale. Oh, yeah. oh attack Vale. <laughs> That's pretty Ooh, great. Nice. It tries to chomp down at you like the tongue lurches out at you. Uh, what do you yell? Uh, you've had enough for one night, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> like it's dad. Like oh. it's dad. Dad energy is very important in D&D. &D. And someone, it kind of... Someone photoshopped Dean's face onto a big frog. <laughs> and the creature lurches and stumbles and just doesn't quite get you into its mouth enough that you can take some dramatic back steps away. All right. Next up is Vale from behind, I did from downtown. The young Vale coming from downtown, yeah. Uh, guess what Vale's going to do? Uh, do rogue things? Uh, yeah, that's close enough. He'll step in again <laughs> if he can. <laughs> Yeah. And um, go for the old stab in the butt. Yeah. This is how um, this is how a swashbuckler has to play when there's terrifying risk of damage. Stab things in the bum. Yep. And then run away afterwards. That's a hit. God damn it. Shwung shwung. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Um, and then I will draw my parrying dagger. And not run away. Mm. And instead, I he will live to regret this. Uh, stab him in the bum. Feel free. Ever so slightly. Come on, give me that fat four. Yeah, there we go. He never lets me down, my little boy. <laughs> my old faithful. <laughs> Next up is Gil. Oh shit. Okay. Um, yeah. I think this time I will go for just a straight up rapier to the belly. You could also slash it in the face because it's kind of leaning over towards you. Okay. In that case, I will slash it in the face. No, I won't. Uh, you have advantage, advantage because, because Vale's behind it. Uh... <laughs> for some reason, I thought he moved to the front. New... Nah, it's He's, we're not he's, used to he's this. He's doing a lot this, of moving. Uh, we're not used to this theater of the mind. Theater thing. of the mind. You got to use your imaginations. That's a hit. But I'm not creative. 
<laughs> uh, Dane. Dane. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you can easily with with Vale like when he Vale's attacks it in the back and it rears back. He was like up the top of the face. Creature's Pain. still not going down. Yeah, this thing has taken so much damage. Night. Yes, it Take has. it, you fucking frog bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get and Gallagher from the darkness. Um, okay, so I am just going to... Um, so, Knight pulls out a card. Um, may, the, may, um, may my lady's luck be with us and throws it into the air and um, casts Bless on you three. About time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so all three of you get a bless, and I am also going to. How hurt was Vale looking? I mean, he's I can't looking him. a lot better after you healed him. Okay. Uh, but you could still tell he's he's yeah. You okay. cannot look great. Um, this slime has healed my wounds. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what the accent was. That was a bit. Hello. <laughs> um. Okay, then I'm. Do I want to use my spell slot yet? No, I don't. Um, uh, my uh, knight's knight's, du knight's duplicate just moves round to the back of the frog um, in the dike, moving closer to the veil. Cool, 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 cool. Indira, so you got spout in front of it. Get up. All right, <laughs> I'd like to misty step. Off to the side. I really want that spell. It's real good. Yeah, sure. Uh, and so I have advantage to attack now. You would have had advantage anyway, because Veil's behind it from where you are. So if you want to not Misty Step, you would have advantage anyway. I'll still Misty Step, it's fine. Actually, Kurt, sorry, before before we go too far on this, I've just realized technically the duplicate is a concentration, and so is Bless. So I can't so have a duplicate. Do Spates, or are you keeping the Bless? I'd rather keep the duplicate up. So rather than casting bless, the duplicate makes its way round. Selfish round. support in it. <laughs> the duplicate goes round and casts cure wounds on Vale. Oh, can uh, do that. He's like, and cast as if I'm in the space of the duplicate. Never, never feel bad. Yeah, exactly. Up yours. <laughs> right, you only get five health back because of that. You're gonna misty step back into the fight and uh, swing with advantage. Mm-hmm. I like to imagine that Indira appears like off the ground. Yeah, well, exactly. Like spit out and can misty step while sliding across the ground <laughs> into so, the fire. Oh, that, yeah, that looks so cool. And that momentum from sliding is used to then. Whoosh. Yeah, it oh, makes that's sense. Like, that's like a gameplay mechanic. Oh, <gasps> it works. It makes sense. Not crit though. You're rewarded. I want this to be a thirty so bad. Oh, it was so good. close. Obviously. Still it great. Still it was so close. I get to go again also, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm gonna do it. That's also a hit. And a one dodged. <laughs> and a yeah. one dodged. <laughs> Over 30 in a turn though. Yeah. This is one yeah. of those things. I should be doing that every turn. Is <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one of us, like you do exactly that. You blink into the fight and you hack away at that thing. First great axe attack, you nearly chop the entire like top of this creature's jaw off. Just like get the right point to like pop the bone and cartilage apart, and it just becomes all floppy and as it roars and sort of staggers. And you hack again. The creature doesn't yet go down, but Oh my god. It's incredibly close. Zap that boy with lightning. Zap that Let's boy with lightning. Indira <laughs> <laughs> It does not go down quite yet. Oh but the my lightning God. slows it down. <clears throat> as it always has. And it is going. <laughs> Creatures actually. <laughs> it's gonna. Uh, hey, um, Vale, make me a strength save. That's pretty good, but not quite good enough. It clearly is like looking around very down, like its face is nearly torn off, if you can even call a creature like this, like it has a face. 
but it like looks to you and, and grabs you with its tongue actually a uh, veil as uh, you're behind it and just whips you around trying to throw you out of the way and then we'll try to attack the duplicate which is a brilliant attack I don't know what happens when it hits the duplicate there's just nothing I assume yeah I don't think it actually explicitly says in the t in the thing I'll click it again just so Yeah, it doesn't actually explicitly say. Yeah, it's one of those things where just the tentacles all attack all four at once, go like <laughs> convergent on the duplicate, and just goes through because it's an illusion. <laughs> Does it do like the cat thing? It's like, <laughs> where, where, where's it gone? <laughs> yeah, it's completely confused that it can't attack it. And it, you can clearly tell it was trying to get everything away from it so it could run away. But there was, there was never anything there. But I Vale, when it grabs it with you. its tongue, it doesn't pull you into its mouth. As I said, it swings you around to where Gil and uh, Gil are. Okay. Like, and just lets go of you, and you can grab yourself, your feet again. Um, um, Alright, next, it's your turn. To attack with my offhand weapon, I have to attack with my main hand weapon, don't I? Yes. Well, actually, no, you can attack with your offhand weapon first. But that would yeah. be it, you know. Mm. If you had two, if you had like a sword and pistol, yeah, but, you could decide that, which one was first. Yeah, technically. Yeah, uh, but it, it would eat an action uh, yes. anyway. Um, still not dead. <laughs> it's oh, incredible. Like it is trying to run. It's trying to flee. Its face is hanging off. It's coated in cuts that are just open to. Her blubber and fat let's give it a stab um yeah, that's good eating dean <laughs> we just feed the family for a long time i can't <laughs> when do i have sneak attack because i have advantage i believe i do i left my book downstairs yeah sneak attack always is always on always the ball. An advantage that's a hit um, Aravale, how do you want to kill this boy? Um, so he gets swung around on the tongue. Um, Vale switches grip on the parent dagger and jabs it in to the tongue, and then begins pulling himself in. And he like disappears inside. And then a few seconds later, you see just the tip of the comet blade just goes out the belly, and then. And it just draws a big red line up the center. He doesn't split it in half, but it's enough for him to walk out. And the frog of just falls back onto its uh, onto its back, just le letting out the last few uh, expels of gas before yeah, it farts staying completely silent. Well, there's a, it's gas come from a lot more than just that pattern. I you imagine <laughs> as Vale like opens the cut that he just made, it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> From his stomach. <laughs> exactly <laughs> right, my man. And you are left there. Sticky, <laughs> wounded, God. sizzling, but victorious. And Vale has the arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why he dived back in to get it. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. So yeah. now you guys are in the bottom of this uh, pit. From when you were falling, it seems like it was around 60 feet down. That's quite a way. Night, night just lets out, night just, uh, so are we, we're st are we still in turn order? Are we no. Okay, so- Although night, there are frogs up there. Yeah, night night just lets out, lets out a breath. Is that, well, that was certainly an experience I've not had before. And at the same time, his duplicate comes across and like puts looks like puts an illusionary card against the actual knight, looking like he's cast. He's just casting cure wounds on himself in the most ostentatious way possible. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got another living five on cure. Good job. Wounds. How are you enjoying your cleric, uh, Ian? I love clerics. If only I could roll decent health. Just mm. flipping. Who yeah. was that healing on? Uh, Me. Himself. <laughs> he, he's, he's literally had the duplicate come up and heal him. <laughs> I'll cast a uh, healing word at third level on uh, Vil. Oh. And Thank say, you. You all look like shit, but you look the worst. What a terrible <laughs> oh healing word. Oh my god. <laughs> what a horrible <laughs> no. healing word. 
Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad the fight's already over, so yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter so much. Well, uh, it, it could be worse, you know. Uh, only a couple of nicks, bruises, and a couple of cuts. Maybe a puncture wound. Clearly we could all use some rest. Yeah, what are we going to do uh, about... Uh, well, them? might I... We, we've, as far as I can tell, we've got two obvious options. We can climb back up and risk getting attacked by an entire tribe of frog people. Although they might not attack us, given that seems to be, I don't know, some sort of god or something to them. So you just killed they, their god. Yeah, no, no, that's what I'm saying. They, because it, it was it seemed to be some sort of god to them or something to that effect. Perhaps they would run fear, but they might be enraged and attack us. The other option is we can see where these tunnels lead. Well, you don't fight the thing that kills your god. On the other hand, we could skin the beast and wear its hideout. We certainly could. We'd have to stand on each other's shoulders. Flesh would make amazing bait. Yeah, yeah. We could decorate your ship with its hide as well. I don't hate the sound of that. I, I mean... Uh, the For as shitty of a pirate as you are, you're a really good pirate. Thank you. Yeah. And I look at Vale like, yeah. <laughs> Vale, Vale, Vale like is frowning, and then he like he turns from like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but in all seriousness, um, exploring, exploring deeper might lead us off track. But maybe it's the safer of the two, considering. I mean, we, we could off. always dig upward. Uh, the. What I would say is um, the tunnels could lead to the Dwarven tunnels. However, none of us here appear to be particularly skilled at navigating when it is not on a ship. Well, that said, I'm not sure there will be much to navigate if it's just a... Well, actually, no, that's a, not that. Ignore that. I've just realized it's probably a network of tunnels, not a single tunnel. Yes, quite. Right now, it's just a single path, but it's one of those things where the water's clearly running further down and there's a slight uh, decline and stuff, so it probably goes deeper into more interesting terrain. <laughs> I'll have you know, I have a compass. It works underground. And a pretty excellent sense of direction. I say we go a little further into the tunnel, make camp, clean ourselves up, and then press forward. I, for one, find that the much more interesting option. The tunnels, we know what's up, and we don't know what's down the tunnels. Could be Hor treasure. Could be Horrible tre creatures of the dark, probably. Yes, we already know there's some rubber umpers and creatures up top. <laughs> there's probably drow, <laughs> and he nudges Skillwin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Haven awesome. always used to talk about them. Uh, Though perhaps we should strike up a light for Gilwin. Yeah, exactly. Uh, one of you, hmm? Ollie. That's actually in line with my questions. Can I cut off the frog's um, tongue tip, please? You can give me a survival roll for that. This whole time that we've been talking, after Indira said its flesh would make great bait. She uh, she would have taken one of her hand axes and just started hacking pieces. Yeah, exactly. Off. You feel free to take flesh. Is when you want to take like special parts, which absolutely you can take the you know four pronged tongue tip. Little little candles sit right in there. <laughs> All right, I'll place it in one of my little. Uh, will it fit in a little thingy vial? If, if I like, like, like there's no when air you space, like, yeah. finger it in. <laughs> you gotta finger it in, but it will fit when you. Uh, I will cast light on the tongue. Nice. Nice. <laughs> of course he will. Oh my god, does it work like one of those slappy hands from out of one of those bubble <laughs> machines that like sticks A glow in the dark things? slappy hand. Yeah, like, oh, yes, is the annoying the thing. I love it. Is that by all logic, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me so, so happy. So that's pretty great. Oh dear. All right. Okay. So I, I love that you guys knew what I was talking about. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Calling it a slappy hand. <laughs> All right, so why don't we take our first break and we'll come back to this in a moment. We'll be back in a second. <laughs> 